Hi, my name is Paul Sardinsky. I manage uh, performance and powertrain communications for Ford Motor Company. Uh, welcome to the Ford stand at the 2015 New York Auto Show. Uh, we've got a ton of great stuff here uh, this year in New York. Uh, we have the uh, U.S. debut of the Focus RS. Uh, that's one of the first cars uh, that will get our new Sync 3 system. Uh, so Sync 3, faster, quicker, much more smartphone-like. Uh, we're really excited to, to launch that with folks. And then, of course, right behind me here, we have the new all-new Ford GT. That is a technology showcase. It is all about innovation. Autonomous cars are one of our biggest projects moving forward. We have over 25 projects around the globe right now. So five to 10 years, five years probably won't look too much different from today. Obviously, uh, we, have, we have some mandates coming. We've seen fuel prices drop recently. So you see people feel a lot of companies may be like backsliding on innovation and technology, but that's the last thing Ford's doing. So we see the car as essentially a rolling connected space. And so we know we need to play in that market. So where the basic architectures of cars probably won't change in the next five years or 10 years, the technology in the car and what you'll be able to do while in the car and the, what you'll be able to do with your time in a car will shift dramatically in that same time frame. I'm Vishnu Jaya Mohan with Nissan Product Planning uh, and we're very proud today to present the 2016 Maxima. Uh, in particular, we've got some very new innovative technology with this car, both in terms of infotainment and also in terms of active safety. So let's start with the infotainment first. We've got two um, USB ports on every single car standard, so dual USBs, both charging and data equipped, so you, both driver and passenger can plug into the vehicle. Uh, we've got a standard 8-inch navigation screen. Nissan Connect Navigation is what we call it. Nissan wants to be a leader uh, and is a leader in autonomous driving. Uh, we plan to introduce uh, autonomous driving cars in our near future, and in, in terms of the industry, uh, a lot of different manufacturers are trending towards that, that pattern. Uh, in particular, a lot of it's to do with, in a highway scenario, autonomous driving, staying within your lane, steering guidance, throttle guidance, braking as well. So there's a lot of work to be done in the industry, I think, a lot of development to see, I guess, to come in the industry in this, in this regard. Hi, I'm Chuck Schiffsky with Honda, and we're here today at the 2015 New York International Auto Show. I've got the Civic Concept behind me. Uh, bright green, very cool car. Uh, Two-door design. Uh, later this year, we'll put the four-door sedan on sale. So here at Honda, uh, in the next five or 10 years, we see the car industry expanding. But more than anything, fuel economy, safety, durability, quality are hallmarks that the Honda brand have always had. And those items will continue to be, uh, to be items that Honda vehicles will feature. Uh, as fuel economy gains uh, are had uh, throughout the industry, we feel that Honda will be at the leading edge of those. And also on the safety side, uh, the safety for vehicles is going to become more and more important. Uh, and will continue to be something that we will focus on heavily here at Honda. Hi, my name is Tim Philp. I work for Jaguar Land Rover North America, and we're sitting here at the New York International Auto Show where we've had the world debut of the new 2016 Jaguar XF. It's our new mid-sized luxury sedan, the second generation of the Jaguar XF. We have a lot of neat technology on this car that uh, really kind of is helping to enhance the driving experience and also keep the drivers a little safer on the road. Self-driving cars are definitely coming. It's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the industry. Uh, we think that there's a future for that kind of technology, maybe especially on motorway driving, uh, things where you know you want to divert your attention away from, uh, from the road, you know, be able to kind of check your email and get caught up on some phone calls while the car is driving on the highway. But here at Jaguar Land Rover, we kind of have a unique take on it because we, we see our vehicles working in a different way. We have some neat technology that we're working on. For instance, there's a, uh, a remote drive control that we're working on that's going to be especially helpful when off-roading. The car industry in, in five to 10 years, in some respects, is going to look a lot like it does today because people are still going to enjoy driving. They're still going to want luxury. They're still going to want style. So those are the kind of things that Jaguar really excels at. So making beautiful cars, beautiful, fun cars, something that you really enjoy owning, something you enjoy being a part of. And I think a lot of that's going to, going to be the same. What we're going to see is more technology in the car that's connecting you to the rest of your life, connecting your car to the internet, connecting the car to your cell phone, to your, to your smartphone. It really kind of make, gives you a seamless experience between your home, your car, and your office. That's where we really see all these things kind of converging together. Hi, my name is James Bell. I'm the head of consumer affairs for General Motors, and I'm very proud and honored and happy to be standing next to this, the new Chevrolet Malibu. We're excited to also introduce something called Teen Driver uh, built into this vehicle. Now, what that is is basically a system where if you are an owner of this vehicle and you have a teen that's going to be using the vehicle, maybe on weekends, you give them a special key fob which has been preset by you maybe sitting in your garage before you give them the key that where you can set speed limits 
uh, between 40 and 75 miles an hour, and if the teen drives above that speed, you get a mark on a report card. So I think if I was to make a, uh, a bold prediction, especially these days when we still see electric cars slowly kind of coming on board, I think that uh, over the next five to 10 years, you're gonna see more and more electrified vehicles from every brand to the point where it might be difficult to go in and buy a car that only uses gasoline. Everything is gonna have some degree of electrification, whether it's start-stop technology or as a plug-in hybrid or a vehicle that doesn't even have a gasoline engine. It's all electric. So I think we're, uh, some people say with gas prices being uh, a little more stable these days, maybe electric cars are going away. Not even close. In fact, we're only going to see more and more. In tournaments held both online and offline, players compete to be crowned the very best. For some, it's just a natural progression for the games they love. But for others, it's become a career. 